pressure going right now. I got a lot of people that want carp. We have to go fishing. We have to catch fish. This lake level is so low. Yeah, let's go. Trim the motor up. Trim the motor up. See if there's any bit of luck on our side today. We're going to need it. Carp, sheephead, buffalo, and suckers. For most Americans, these bottom feeders have no place in our lakes or on our plates. But there are fishermen who have found opportunity. Every fisherman always wants the big haul. I've been chasing the big haul for all my life, and I don't know if that's, if that's ever going to come. I had never seemed to get a hold of it, but uh, who does? You always got it. You got something to chase for, though. My dad told me, be a doctor, be a lawyer, don't be a fisherman. Once you get it in your blood, there's nothing else. It's the last week of March. A warm spring has upset typical fish patterns, and experienced commercial fishermen are struggling to adjust. The upcoming Jewish holiday of Passover has increased the demand for carp, pushing market prices to four times their usual value. More than ever, a big haul means serious money. chilly out there this morning. It's so cold today they probably all moved out of the marsh last night now. <laughs> That's the way fishing is though, you never know. Hopefully they didn't move out of the marsh, huh? Not really cold last night. I know it. He'll come fishing until the day he dies. <laughs> That's my dad. He's a fisherman. Today we're going to a new spot. Judd found a bunch here the other day. It looked like a big bunch, he said. You know, he's taught me everything I know, and I, I love that, and I thank him to God for it. But it's tough working with family. We're going to lay the scene around it all, and then we're going to pull what we can, and then we're going to lay the scene around whatever next part we want to. If you go like that, you're still going to miss the very end of it. You know, you we get, need to go a different way, Dad, so we can get it. It's the only way we can get do no, it, I think. it ain't. Well, you're never going to see eye to eye on everything, especially when it's family. He does everything good. Sometimes he does things, he comes up with ideas that are better than the ideas I have. You got plenty of sand to go all the way around this thing, so don't think you got to cut it short. Cover all the water you can. Yeah, I'm not going to get real close to the bank because that's where you get snags. No, there's no snags. You can go right along that bank. If you don't want to lay it out next to there, then I will because I'm not scared. I can put the cork line out or something. Then I can't go drive it the way I want it to be drove. If we can't work together, it don't work. Just cover the most water we can. Go drive it. Driving the airboat will move fish out of the areas that Tom and the crew can't reach with the net. I grew up in this business. I saw my dad struggle with things, and, and I had to sit on the back burner for a long time. We're going to set the net up. If you work for me, Judd's way is the only way. I'm either 100% in or 100% out. And when it comes to fishing, I'm 100% in. Tim Adams is preparing for a day on Lake Zumbro. It's usually pretty good to us over there. This warm weather is just insane. 70 degrees in the middle of March. What we're going to do with these fish is we're going to keep them live, and then a rabbi is going to come over and bless them in the water. And then um, we'll send them out to the Jewish market for um, Passover. As a fisherman, they always, they always ask the famous question, what amount of fish can you catch in a year to be satisfied? There's no amount. If you're satisfied with an amount of fish, you might as well quit fishing. Put my waders on so I stay reasonably dry. Hardest work of the day, I get my boots on. I got a fused right ankle. I don't like to make the corner into the boots. 
There, half the battle's over. I got one foot. In. Might be a bunch of fish right below that bridge, too. Yeah. The lake level's so low, the spots that we normally fish are, um, I got a feeling we're not even going to be able to get there. And normally, they pull that water down in the wintertime a couple feet. And they had pulled the water down, but this year they had pulled it down, especially low, because they were trying to kill the zebra mussels that were in there. Zebra mussels are an invasive species to freshwater lakes in America, native to southeast Russia. They eventually found their way over to the USA by attaching themselves to ocean liners. I've never seen this water this low. See where I want to fish. I got a feeling we're not going to get up here. On Lake Zumbro, Tim Adams is dealing with low water. This is really going to suck. I got a lot of pressure going right now. I got a lot of people that want carp. There's a Jewish holiday coming on. God, I gotta get these fish. George and I have to get these fish. Not an easy job at all. You, you get kind of down, you get kind of sick of it. I mean, fishing crews are always at their happiest when they're catching fish. See if there's any bit of luck on our side today. We're gonna need it. I'm happy to go to work on the river every day. Even when it's snowing, even when it's cold, it's miserable, but I'm my own boss. And right now, the lakes that we're on don't have any weeds left in them. Game fish populations are low. I think that's what drives me because I'm like out to prove to everybody that we can fix your lake. You know, we're the best answer. And really what it comes down to is, you know, do you want a good lake where you live? The guys that live here must be pretty happy we're over here. They're actually waving. Look happy that we're here. Let's see if we can get these carp out of here for you guys. We'll be back a few times this summer. They want their weeds to come back and their lily pads and their sunfish and their crappies, you know, they, they love that. I can't turn, I'm done pulling the net at all. Gotta get me going that way so I can pull the net. But it never pulls this hard unless you're in a lot of mud. When you see the net, it should be in a straight line with me, but the wind's pushing me this way, so the net's swinging, so the first thousand feet's gonna be a little rolled up. You know, if you don't catch fish, fishing ain't fun. You're not gonna go fishing every day if you don't catch nothing because there's no more weeds there because the carp rooted them all out. Now we run the risk of blowing a motor up. Pull it, I'm at 5,000 now. I don't think we're moving, I think we're in the mud. Pulling in the mud like this, I need time to dump some of that mud out so I can get going to the bank. I'll just sit here until you guys can get with the program. I'm gonna sit here all day if I gotta. Just tell them that. I will sit here. Copy that. So we're trying to push the net out of the mud a little bit so Jed can go. That happens a lot in real shallow water. Put it on the front of the boat and I'll push it. Hook it up. Okay, we're good. 
Hands up. I know for me it's unreal to come and watch him run things. I mean, this, to me, this is the neatest thing there is. He's out there getting it done. Money pulling, you make money loading. 